Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and I'm on my way to a job right now, half a job. It's 40 minutes away and I never drive that far anymore. I used to when I first started, but I just have so many people in the cities like right next to where I live mm -hmm. that I pretty much just drive 5, 10, 15 minutes at most now. Anyways, this is the car I fixed earlier this year. That's why I say it's half a job because on this episode, I want to talk about like doing warranty work. Specifically, I'm gonna talk about how I do that as a mobile mechanic. Mm -hmm. And then I've also got some questions and would like some feedback from people watching this video as well. Because as you guys know, I don't work in a shop. I'm not up to date with like what the standard is. And again, it's a little unique because mm -hmm. some people working in a shop don't really deal with that stuff anyways. They just do the work, but let me know. So I'm going 40 minutes away. And every time I've done warranty work in the past, I haven't charged the people. Or the person every time afterwards they're like oh how much do i owe you and i'm like well it's warranty work i guarantee my labor and the parts stores guarantee the parts uh, the thing is with like autozone or whatever that's why i say wherever you have a commercial account from just use one place because the more you spend there the better the warranty gets i've always had like 50 percent they'll pay me like 50 percent of the warranty time uh, for my warranty work uh, if you spend more than they'll do like a hundred percent but I only have to use that like once every few months. In fact, last year I didn't really do any warranty work. There was a few things where like I left and then I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to plug a sensor back in, like I knew it. And so I would just stop back by and plug the sensor back in. That happened like twice last year, so two little random things like that that could have turned into like having to go back and fix something, but I just left something unplugged or whatever. But I didn't install anything wrong. I didn't have any parts fail last year. Other than obviously this is just a brake job so and this is a bummer because the brakes I bought were premium rotors like the black ones they were the rotors were so expensive I was like hey it's only like a five dollar difference let's just get the nicer ones and so it's this is the only warranty work I've had all year this person does drive like an hour each way to work every day so but I mean they're on the interstate it shouldn't be high braking conditions shouldn't be getting their rotors too hot and they're premium rotors they should not have worked in a year um, so I'm going up there to do some warranty work. I'll talk a little bit more about it when I'm out there doing it. Uh, but the main thing is I'm not, I don't really charge people for this. So I'm driving 80 minutes, 40 minutes there, 40 minutes back. And I'm gonna work for 40 minutes while I'm there. And I'm not gonna get anything because this is so small that I'm not even gonna be able to file like a warranty claim through the parts store. So, um, traffic here so it doesn't make sense I'm not gonna waste like a warranty claim on this and get like 30 40 bucks I'm just gonna save it for if I have a part fail in the future uh, and then I can get a nice big warranty claim out of it plenty of money back um, this one's not worth it to me so my plan is I'm not making any money today I'm just replacing some brakes for free so I'm not too excited about it but it is what it is we'll see what we get up there and my questions are let me know in the comments down below like does that make sense to you guys would you charge for doing warranty work especially for travel like i'm like should i charge for travel but i installed the parts right i don't know maybe they got their tires put on later and they were torqued wrong it's not something i did but now i'm the one paying for it basically so this might be the last time i'm doing it this is also family friends so i'm not too worried about this time but i'm thinking this is a good time to figure out exactly how i'm going to deal with this in the future and uh, i'm thinking maybe charge people like half labor or at least travel um, but i think half labor sounds pretty ideal but I, I don't know because if the part fails whose fault is that so let me know what you guys think and let's get over here again I'm driving 40 minutes so I'll be there in a few minutes and I'll talk more about it while I'm doing it but this customer usually likes to talk to me um, we've known each other for a long time so I probably won't talk too much while I'm working just do a voiceover all right so I just got here and I just got a couple of answers to my questions so I asked my customer here, my friend, if they had their tires taken off or messed with recently. And they said, yeah, only a couple of months ago. They went to Le Schwab and got new tires. So, and I said, I bet it started right after that, didn't it? And he said, yep, sure did. It felt like it was on the other side more, but I said, they definitely over torqued or didn't put your tires on right. I just grabbed my impact, but let me actually grab my two foot bar and take these off by hand and see how unevenly they're torqued. Okay, let me find the right size. Let me tell you about the other question I got answered. Yeah, right size. 
um, because I said, they said, let me know how much I owe you. And I said, well, it shouldn't be anything. <laughs> and they said, don't cut yourself short. I'll pay you for my time or at least don't need to pay for parts or something like that. So that answered my question. Just talking to my buddy like, yeah, I think I should be paying, charging at least for some of the time. Depends on the job. Obviously, if I installed the part wrong, I wouldn't. But I'm thinking like half. He asked me how much I charge an hour, and I told him I told him just half it, and he said no way, so we'll see. Um, let's see what Le Schwab did to these tires. I've got this torque meter that's going to measure. I'm going to set it to the mode. I'm going to find the mode that'll just show you how much max torque was put on this device, the peak torque. So once I break it free, we can look at it and see if they were all torqued evenly or not. It's not this mode, I'm sure. I'm just going to set it. peak see how I just twisted on it right there it's set at like a really low torque the beeping doesn't matter it's just gonna tell us that number right there the max torque that was put on that lug nut to take it off and then I can clear each one out so let's see how uneven these are okay 108 that's right right about what I would expect to see Hundred and four, pretty close. Might not have done too bad of a job. That's the one I just did. Felt about the same. Ninety-four. One eighteen. Those are all decently close. Okay. Yeah, those were all decently close. Let's check the other side that got warped. Just gonna check each one here. I'll loosen it and then tighten it back down since I have uh, the wheel on the ground, obviously. Okay, here we go with this lumpy one first. Oh, that's way tighter. 140. Seven. And then from here on out, I'll just leave these other ones loose and deal with them when I get back over here. I've got two on there tight now. Okay, up here, then to the bottom. Can you clear that? 156, definitely something going wrong over here. They did something right on the other side, used a torque stick or something. Definitely didn't on this side. Weird. How can it be so inconsistent from two wheels? Okay, that one was like about the first ones. 123 felt lighter, but much lighter. Okay, last one. Here we go. About 140 again. Yeah, 130, 138. Perfect. Okay, uh, definitely uneven and over torqued on this side because the torque on these should be about 120, and uh, when you set them to 120 foot pounds of torque, it's gonna take less than 120 foot pounds of torque to undo it. So these were definitely over torqued. Good job, Lee Schwab. Okay, let's have a new look at our rotors and pads that are less than a year old. They definitely look like it. This side looks great. I mean, this side wasn't warped when, they said they can mostly feel it when they're getting off the interstate. I got it up to like 40 on a back road and I could start to feel it and it definitely felt like I said earlier on that passenger side i never put those screws back in so i did myself a favor there on the way here i was like oh i wonder if i brought need to bring my impact driver but i was like nah i know myself i'm good i wouldn't have put those back in okay new pads new rotors let's get going should be 20 30 minutes that's so strange to me that this side was so fine and, and i just like from the test drive was thinking man it feels like it's on that one side which i guess I guess would make sense that one side would warp before the other. But I really can't think of a good reason why. That would be the case. 
Maybe they had like some apprentice on the other side do something. Uh, just weird, weird. I wonder why they would do that. It doesn't make any sense to me how this came to be. the only interesting thing that's going to happen on the rest of this job. Let me just get these done real quick and then we'll talk about it on the way back. I wonder if that's for balancing. Certainly isn't gonna warp the rotor or anything, but I'm guessing that's to balance it. These ones are nice too because you don't have to clean them off to come wrapped up. These are nice. These still have plenty of grease on them. They're moving free. I was worried like maybe these were seized up or something. Not the case. Just an over torqued wheel. Stupid. Man, that's a stupid thing to have to come and fix. Especially for somebody who's that, that's their job. To put tires on all freaking day. But yeah, I guess that answers that question for me in 2024. As long as it's not something I did negligent, I should be charging for some warranty work. So I'll figure out uh, either half or full, depending on the job, I guess. Or what went wrong.
All right, well, that's it, guys. I made it back to home base. My customer was super grateful I was able to get this done. There's been kind of a lull in the snow for the past couple of days. It snowed for like two weeks. It's gonna start snowing again. So it was nice to do it. I just got up here on the weekend. Since it was so far away, I just put it on the weekend because I couldn't get to it for like two weeks during the day. So weekend made more sense. He was super grateful. I'm glad to get that done. Again, I really want to know what you guys think in the comments down below what I should do when it comes to warranty work. I'm thinking like at least half labor I should charge as long as it's not like a labor warranty issue. Anyways, that's it. If you like this video, make sure you check out the next one up here. You help me out the most by subscribing. So hit that subscribe and the thumbs up button down below. You can donate at the links in the description if you want to. I'll see you on the next video. See you there. That's a job well done.